Oh, the seats are empty now, but tomorrow night, Paul Brown Stadium will be the place to be. That's when the Cincinnati Music Festival kicks off, and it's expected to bring in more than $100 million in revenue to the Queen City. A bunch of little busy bees down there working, well, very huh? Very busy. Well, on our Move Up Cincinnati series here, focusing on regional growth and transportation, Dine on Your Side's Lisa Smith tells us how the event has grown into one of the nation's best summer music festivals. A major transformation is underway right now at Paul Brown Stadium. The stage is up and chairs are being set in place for the biggest musical festival of the summer, the Cincinnati Music Fest, and they want to get bigger. So yes, the goal is to grow it. The goal is to get more um, people to, to attend and to increase the consciousness of the programming uh, that happens similar to what Essence does as well. According to the Cincinnati Convention and Visitors Bureau, the weekend festival will generate over $107 million for the local economy from hotels and restaurants to small businesses. We have a sweet spot for all those local businesses that are trying to take off or already have taken off. Newsweek calls the Cincinnati Music Festival one of the 13 best music festivals of the summer on the same list with Coachella. By tomorrow night, these seats will be filled with concert goers from as far away as Chicago and Detroit. And now the promoter says they're seeing growth from outside the Midwest. We um, are selling to people coming from Vegas and places we dream to visit, and they're coming to Cincinnati for the weekend, which is so cool to me. On average, the festival now in its 57th year fills about 90,000 seats during the two day event. This is the fourth year PG has been the main sponsor. Longtime Cincinnati promoter, the Santangelo Group, sees PG as key to future growth. So, our partnership with PG has really opened up another side of the festival and the potential that it has. Cincy Soul is expanded this year, and there are more events outside of the show. The Cincinnati Convention and Visitors Bureau sees this as a way to show Cincinnati is open to diverse tourists. You know, I think it's important because the stats show in 2040 that the country is changing, particularly when it comes to tourism. Lisa Smith, 9 on your side.